Good morning, everyone. I am here to make another video about Childish Gambino's 3005. That's right, we're doing our breakdowns, and I already had a, a video talking about, you know, some of my favorite songs, and this one came up. Um, I didn't even realize when I was writing out all the videos, I was like, oh, so I've made multiple, I'm gonna be making multiple videos about, uh, this song. But, you know, I fucking love this song, you know, it is what it is, so let's just get into it. Um, I don't even know where to begin. So, this music video does have a story to it, and I've talked about, um, I'm watching the video as I do this, I've talked about before how... Uh, when I was talking about the song emotionally it's kind of like a happy sad song and it's also like a bittersweet kind of song and it's also very innocent it's a happy sad innocent song but there's like this little edge of darkness to it and I thought this music video tone tone wise matched that perfectly so in this video we got uh, Childish Gambino, he's, uh, dressed in this, like, pretty cool jacket. He has, like, kind of, like, when I think of Childish Gambino, this is who I picture, like, this version of him, uh, where he's, like, like, over time, Gambino just got in more hairy and more, like, grizzled, I feel like, and now to the point where he can play Landau. Uh, and this is kind of, like, the middle phase of that. So he's on a Ferris wheel, and next to him is a bear. So obviously, like, if you were at, like, a carnival or something, you know, this would be a pretty natural scene. Um, watching, uh, and he's on, a f on this Ferris wheel. There are other people. It looks like if it's anywhere, it's in California. Um, and... It is so fucking artistic what he does here. So the, the Ferris wheel, uh, a lot of when he's doing the verses, uh, it like closes up on him and the bear. And he's just kind of stonewalling the verses. And meanwhile, the singing portion is kind of played uh, as if it's like played in the background. There are the parts where he's, where there's singing and then there's like little ad libs where it's like, nah nah hold up hold up uh, and whenever he does the hold up that's the part that he's lip syncing and meanwhile like I love the one thing I hate about film is like I can always feel the camera sometimes like there's so many scenes that are just filmed obviously unnaturally uh, obviously this person wouldn't be sitting like this or they wouldn't be like facing each other this way but it has to look good for a shot and this is one of the times where the way this camera moves around this ferris wheel I don't even know how they filmed it because it literally whenever the verses are done the camera kind of just soars around the ferris wheel and we get we get to look at the scenery out there's a very mysterious fire happening uh in the background it's slowly getting darker and not only that the lyrics that gambino is talking about like it slowly gets darker too this these are the lyrics where he's kind of talking about how he's lost faith in his family a little bit emily fam and lorenzo all of them people my kinfolk at least i think so i can't tell because sometimes uh you know they're not here or whatever and Meanwhile, we look at this bear, and whenever the camera comes back, like, after it stops panning around, and then it goes back to the bear. The bear is, like, an animatronic, by the way. Like, some people didn't even notice that it was moving the whole time. Uh, like, it would just kind of slowly look around. But we look back towards the bear after the shot, and it looks more, like, ragged and beat up. Um, like it's it's got a couple more holes it looks a little bit more deflated whereas at the beginning it looked really healthy and then at the very end of the music video we get the finale shot it's like soaring around this darkness the fire in the back is really heating like flaring up and then the final shot is we look back towards the bear and it is just torn to hell and it's extremely sad. And Gambino is gone. It's just the bear by itself. 
and fade to blackness and then we get this like little after part where um they're playing this other song and the ferris wheel's still going nobody is on the ferris wheel now uh but now the like park or circus or wherever this ferris wheel is at like the lights are dimming uh and flashing and we see a figure who we presume is gambino kind of walking away from the ferris wheel it's also he's kind of just standing there and uh, goddamn i just kind of and took this interpretation as the bear might represent like his childhood self uh i know i just watched ready player one which uh featured a grown person and his younger self so i kind of got that vibe like uh that this song was kind of like the death of this person's innocence like the bear represented their childhood maybe the bear also it could have represented uh a love interest uh that easily could have been the case because we we see relationships at the beginning you know they're all healthy and all like full of innocence and magic and then it's kind of like they're they're not like fucked up they're just kind of like worn out like the best they have love marks like your favorite books they're gonna have love marks on the spine and this bear is full of love marks um like it's been through some shit and then at the end um it's by itself and kind of fucked up and this is gonna sound dark but when we die we die alone like there's even if we're holding someone's hand whatever we're facing we're doing it alone and then we find whoever it is in the afterlife if it exists but this bear is alone and scared at the end of the video so it could be a love interest it could be his childhood um it, the reason i'm i kind of leaned on the childhood thing is kind of like the idea of this whole music video taking place in this like childhood world and it's burning down and gambino kind of walking away as the lights dim i kind of felt emphasize that and i looked up you know theories uh as i was watching this um the whole idea that this album is like a soundtrack for the script that he wrote and this mute this short film he made i haven't watched it yet i don't like the bigger picture here going on that i definitely have to take into consideration um what i read was that this uh if you were to line up the tracks and the screenplay that this song would be taking place during a wedding which again the lyric in 3005 says until 3005 like there is this cutoff date it's kind of like it's kind of like what like he says and uh like i'll love you until 3005 that's kind of like the lyric and so it kind of like puts this like perception on it as in we'll be together forever but at the same time there's an end to it which i kind of feel like this bear thing that correlates with that um, Gambino has said multiple times, or at least in the one interview, that it's not a love song. So, there's definitely some things to be put together here. I'm a little bit, like, confused by this. Uh, reasons. I'm looking up this uh, short film because I don't know anything about it. And I just learned about it. Clapping for the wrong reasons. That's an interesting title. But anyway, um, I love this music video. I f felt it captured the tone and the the feeling uh, perfectly of the song. And it like added a lot of mystery. Um, the first time I watched it, like it was just the Ferris wheel. I didn't even take into consideration this whole other side to it. Um, and now watching it, I feel like... It really captures a lot about how I feel about the song. It recaptures the innocence. Um, I've talked about before how I have like music. I'll put music videos in my head, and I remember listening to the song and comparing um, these two characters I wrote in a book who are like children, 
and have a very like innocent, uh, friendly uh, relationship that is like semi, but not really romantic. And I felt like this song, like them on a Ferris wheel would be like perfect for the like I the idea and the feeling captured in the song but anyway uh, those were my thoughts on the video for 3005 it is crazy good it is ah uh, I just love it so much anyway that's probably gonna be it for today I think I'm literally just about to watch this mute this uh, short film by Gambino because I've never seen it before um, it's 30 minutes long but whatever I got time today. I don't really, but whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Good Morning Soul. And until then, with that, I leave you.